Hey, welcome to the show. Normally I talk about business intelligence related items, so Power BI, reporting services, analysis services, uh, but lately I've been getting into some of the SQL Azure database, and I want to talk about an issue that actually came up. We were doing some case reviews, and I said, hey, this would make a great video and blog. So the issue is around uh, what's called a backpack, and really that's about you know backing up the actual data and packaging it and allowing it to be portable. So we can take that from SQL Azure database. Uh, we get it in a portable file. We can either restore that to back to SQL Azure database, or we can restore that to a local instance, for example. And what happens is, is that we've recently gone through an upgrade for SQL Azure database to version 12. And you can run into some issues where uh, you may get some errors related to like schema format or things uh, related to trying to pull it in and it doesn't necessarily recognize it. So what I want to look at is, first off, how do we get the backpack file? And then what's the scenario where we can run into that error and or into a specific error? And then how do we work around that? So to start with, let's look at how do we actually get the backpack file? And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do this in Management Studio, or you can do it directly into the in the Azure portal itself. So if we're in the Azure portal, if we go to databases and we go to pick our database, down on the bottom here you'll see export. And when we go to export, uh, we can give it a file name, it'll automatically have the backpack extension. Uh, we tell it what subscription we want, and then we choose if we want it to go to a, uh, in this case it has to go to a storage account. Um, so we could pick that if we want. All right, so another way you can do this is to just go into Management Studio and we can do, uh, we can right click on a given database that's in the cloud and go to tasks and we can say export data to your application. And this will give you the option of either exporting it to an actual cloud storage or you can export it to disk. So let's take a look at the scenario that we've got. So I've already got a backpack file for one of my databases. Um, this is generated, it's on my local disk. And what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and I've got a SQL server that is, um, it's SQL 2012. And one thing we'll notice here is the version number is uh, 11.0.5058. Um, so SQL 2012 starts with version 11. And what I want to do here is I want to import the backpack file into uh, my database server. So we'll go ahead and right click on databases and then we'll say import data to your application. And then from here, I can either pick it from an Azure storage account or from local disk. And we have it on local disk. So let's go ahead and grab it. And we'll do next and next and go. And one thing we get right away is we get an error failure uh, when trying to create the database on the target. And if we go click on the error and take a look at it, so it says we couldn't load the schema model for, from the package. Um, and it gives us some other information here. So what the problem here is, is the with the upgraded uh, SQL Azure, or Azure SQL database, uh, we upgraded to version 12, and SQL 2012 is version 11. And so we can't, it, it's having a conflict with the version for the schema. So one thing you'll notice here also is that Management Studio I'm in, uh, this is Management Studio version 11. So this actually doesn't have anything to do with the actual backend server. So the actual SQL server that's 2012, that's fine. I can still load this into 2012. The problem is actually Management Studio. Um, so this is the 2012 version of Management Studio. This version is actually the 2014 version of Management Studio. So we can verify that by going to Help and About. And we can see that uh, SQL 2014 is starts with version 12. And so we can see Management Studio is version 12. And if we also look at, if we go over here and we look at our version, we're connected to 2012, that still says version 11. So let's try and import the backpack file here. So we'll go to Import Data Tier Application, Browse, say OK. We'll just do the same things again. Finish. And we got past the Create Database on Target, so that was successful this time because Management Studio for 2014 understands how to read that schema. And we're good to go. So 
Again, it's not the actual SQL Server version that's necessarily a problem. In this case, it's the client tool that's the problem. So in our case, Management Studio. All right, so how do we fix this? So one thing is we need to get the 2014 version of Management Studio. There's a couple of different ways to get that. Um, if you have an ISO for SQL 2014, you can install it off of that. Or if you just, you know, however the install media that you use to install SQL, if you have that, just go and install the management tools under Shared Features. Another option you can do here is within the portal itself, if we go in there and go to Quick Start, um, there'll actually be a option here for get the Microsoft database management tools. However, this takes you to the SQL 2012 version, which is version 11. And we want the 2014 version. What it actually takes you to, if I click on it, it'll actually take you to SQL 2012 Express. Um, again, this is version 11. We want version 12. So you can just search for SQL uh, 2014 Express. Um, and that'll bring you to this download page. Um, and in here, you'll see the it's version 12. And it'll also in indicate that this includes the full version of SQL 2014 Management Studio and that'll get you what you need. And this is a free download. Um, so those are ways that you can get around this so that you can import the backpack file successfully from your end within Management Studio. Just make sure you're on version 12 and not version 11 because that's where your problems are going to come in. Alright, thanks for watching.